hi guys welcome back to my channel it's me your girl mo if this is your first time on my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button how are you guys doing today hope your week has been going great so far as for me hey i'm doing great well today i wanted to talk about what's been trending in the news sports channels social media what's going on with the nba some players are against the nba restarting this is bad this is very Stephen very bad a. some players are ready for the nba to start because they're like hey we want to start competing again now we have players such as kyrie irving dwight howard that are against the NBA starting simply because they believe with the NBA starting it's going to take away from Black Lives Matter, from the protests and what is going on. And I'm just like, yo. Bro, what are you talking about, man? It actually does not. It does the opposite. It actually brings more awareness to what is going on. So I want you guys to stay tuned. I'm going to break it down some more. Kyrie Irving, Dwight Howard, and a couple of players are against the NBA restarting. They would rather the NBA not start the season and focus on what is happening in the black community. And I get all that. I understand where they're coming from. But for me, I struggle with it because I'm like, how else do you want to bring awareness to this? It's through your platform. Okay. You guys are superstar athletes. People watch you guys. What other way? It's through your platform. So by you shutting down the NBA, you're actually not accomplishing anything. You're actually making it harder for athletes that are not making much. How are they going to provide for their family? For Kyrie, it's easier for him to say, like, oh, the NBA doesn't need to start back. You're not even playing this season. You're making over $200 million. Other players, they don't have that much. Now, I get it if you guys are not sure about the nba starting due to coronavirus <laughs> coronavirus coronavirus i mean hey there's still a pandemic happening but if you are saying no we need to shut down the nba we need to focus on what is happening with black lives matter police brutality that's not going to solve anything because at the end of the day racism systemic oppression in this country is not going to be wiped off immediately we have to go back to work we have to move on with our lives but even with that said we can still use our platform whichever way it is i'm using my platform my instagram my youtube to bring awareness to what is happening but you guys have a bigger following on social media just being on the on the on the stage i mean people around the world watching you guys you can still protest peacefully bringing awareness to what is happening you can push for our leaders to make changes to criminal justice reform, to make changes in um, police training, bringing back support to the community through education, economic improvement. There are different ways, but just shutting down the NBA, that's not gonna achieve anything at all. Another way that you can even help the community is encouraging people to go out and vote because that's what it comes down to. Voting, to put in the right leaders that are actually helping the community they are thinking about serving people and not being served so if you really want to do something encourage people to go out and vote you know i love the fact that lebron and other players they actually came up with a group to encourage people to go vote voting right because back in the south that's a whole nother topic it's already difficult for black people to vote and there are a lot of people in the black community that don't even vote so another way to bring awareness to what is happening is to encourage people to vote not shutting down the nba and i couldn't agree more with lebron james he's like look i can still play and i can still bring awareness to what is happening so for me it was just tough to really agree with Kyrie. i like Kyrie. i understand where he's coming from but there's no other place for you to bring awareness than on your platform they say out of sight out of mind guess what if the nba is not playing people are just going to forget they're going to move on so the only way you can support the black community is by using your platform playing the game you know if it's wearing shirts you know speaking up on things in interviews you know pushing for leaders to make changes that's the way you do it in football which is actually one of the biggest if not the biggest sport that billions of people watch 
every day. The Premier League started today, it resumed the season today. And I was so amazed when I saw pictures. I actually posted one on my Instagram account. Make sure you check it out. Where players were kneeling, you had the jersey. That's the one I posted where it had Black Lives Matter. That's what they're doing. That's what I'm talking about. They're using their platform to speak out against what is happening. That's an example. I would love to hear from you guys. I would love to hear your opinion. Do you guys support Kyrie? Should the NBA not start at all and they should focus more on what is going on in the black community? Or should the NBA start and instead figure out ways that they can support the black community, give back to the black community um, through education, economic improvements, different ways, push for criminal justice reform, police reform, um, police training, increasing all of that. I would love to hear from you guys. So please let me know. That's crazy. And it's like, look, I want the NBA to start because yes, I miss basketball, but I also know that it's a way for them to speak out on what is going on. I've seen the way they've protests in the past supporting Colin Kaepernick and the NBA has also been lenient with that compared to NFL so I definitely disagree with it but I would love to hear what you guys um say about this topic that is trending hey guys that's all I have for today so you know what to do if you like this video give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends don't forget to hit the bell to get notified when I drop videos most important of all don't forget to subscribe to my channel until next time, guys. Bye.